What does prosperity mean to you? Is it your environment, food, comfort, career? Prosperity is experienced differently around the world. For some, it means a quality education and good health. For others, it's about survival. Ce qui m'a fait arriver jusqu'ici parce que je cherche une vie meilleure. Parce que il y, y a des pays en Afrique hein, qui n'ont jamais connu la paix. Jamais. With no means for a new life, injustice, poverty, and crime become the norm. La hayak. بعد ما انه قبلنا وخلصنا الجامعه تخرجنا من الجامعه حبينا انه احنا نطلع للمستقبل ناسس للمستقبل نبني للمستقبل حاولنا كثير لكن العقوب المقومات بسيطه جدا العقوبات كبيره جدا فكان لازم انه احنا نبحث عن مستقبل بعيد شوي While globalization brings our world closer together opportunities have bloomed but access to those opportunities has become limited for many communities. And as the global population continues to grow, food becomes scarce and nutrition ignored, placing the health and well-being of future generations at risk. Orang jual lima belas enam belas, kalau borong pun ada lapan belas ringgit. Ah, mahal lah. Oh, memang mahal murah dah. Erosion has now become a fact of life, and water levels are hitting new highs and new lows. Climate change has affected our communities because we we not used to have those lot of rains by the time we we we, we need them. So now sometimes we get struggle about the water. We don't have water, sometimes we have water, but it affects the, our communities. Whether it's global warming or frequent storms, our planet is under constant threat. And together, we must repair our broken home. When we think about climate change, we often silo it and think just of environmental disasters. So we think of things like hurricanes or tsunamis. But really, climate change has a wide variety of impacts. And that's where we see a lot of conflict migrants coming out of conflicts that have started because of climate change. So overpopulation is a problem often because where the overpopulation occurs is not the same places where we have the resources. So we have enough food to feed everyone, but it's often not in the right places for the people who need it. So that's gonna be one of the big challenges of the next 50 to 100 years, is figuring out ways to match those two together. Usually when people think about innovation, they only think about technological solutions. So they very often think of smartphones or social media technologies. But the truth is innovation is much broader than that. Um, it really relates to thinking um, and thinking differently about the way we process information and how we um, process what we do. The old ways that we've been doing things for hundreds of years in some cases simply don't work given the sheer number of people we have on earth right now. The time has come for us to make a change. This is our reality. And these are our challenges. We must find new ways to help displaced communities access essential services for their safety and well-being. We must connect rural communities with urban markets to create better livelihoods for themselves and their families. And as our population continues to grow, we must address food shortages and malnourishment, not just today, for tomorrow. And we must reverse the effects of climate change so that we can move towards a low carbon world. So, can you make it forward? If 
you were given the chance to change a life, what would you do? Because we believe that access to innovation paves the way to building prosperity.